It's Friday, April 29th, 2011. I slept like a bag of crap last night, and welcome to my vlog. Well, I gotta find my checkbook, because I owe the government 50 bucks for my income tax, sons of bitches. So I gotta find my checkbook, fill out a check for 50 bucks, and get ready to mail out. Friggin' sucks. Yeah, I'm still a cat. Success. Oh man, I feel like garbage today for some reason. My throat's all raspy and uh, I hope I'm not catching a cold. I really want to do that live show tomorrow night. Oh well, I'm sure we'll be okay. <laughs> well, flyers showed up today, so uh, after I'm done killing this thing, we'll go inside and look through the flyers and see if there's any cool deals. You know, there's one problem I have with these flip cameras. The glass lens gets really, really dirty. I shouldn't even call it the lens, the lens cover. It gets really dirty really easily, so you're always cleaning it. Should, uh, Maybe stick something over top of that to prevent fingerprints from collecting on it. Kind of like a screen protector for an iPhone or something. Still be able to see through it. Shouldn't mess it up too bad, but now, Anywho, I'm going to smoke my cigarette and head her inside. Talk to you guys later. I'm still a cat. Alrighty, well, to show you the flyers, I decided to switch it up. I'm going to use the Panasonic because it has a decent macro mode. Then the Flip, which doesn't have a macro mode and everything gets blurry and you can't see what the hell I'm looking at. So, let's use it. Alright, I'm going to clean off the lens and then uh, we'll look at some flyers. Alright, let's start with Future Shop. Yeah, and they already have a deal on the first page. Look at that. The Xbox 4 gig console, 129 friggin' dollars. That's awesome. That's what I paid for mine. So anybody out there looking for an Xbox 4 gig console, uh, head over to Future Shop, pick one up. I use a pen drive to give it more storage. Sweet. Yeah, they're doing the iPod thing again, where you can get uh, the fourth generation iPod Touch for uh, $234, save 15 bucks. Yeah, front-facing camera. You can do that FaceTime thing. Well, there's a different style of camera. The Casio Trix. Huh, kind of expensive, 269 but it almost looks like it has two screens on her. Twist, turn, hang, stand for various shots. Oh, it's a touchscreen LCD. Blech. This is neat. If you buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab from Bell, you pay $399, no contract. But if you buy it from Rogers, you pay $624, no contract. Exact same device. Hmm, which one would you buy? I, I don't know, maybe, oh, boom? Hey, it's my router. <laughs> That's the router that, that we're using on the uh, cable connection. Nice. I've been thinking of getting a couple of these, just to put around the house, just so I can monitor network wide. One, maybe one in the garage too. It could be kind of fun. Oh, Future Shop has appliances, so if yours is dickered, they carry them. Yeah, just to let you know, Pug. That's actually not that bad of a deal. For 950 bucks, you can get yourself the white iMac, Core 2 Duo, 2.4 gigahertz processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and a 250 gig hard drive. And that white bastard can be yours. Nice. I guess they're trying to get rid of their flips. 149 gets you the 4 gig high definition pocket cam with action tripod and ultra 3 battery pack. Doesn't that look like a Mino? <laughs> kind of looks like a Mino. They, they already have the battery built in. That doesn't make sense. But uh, yeah, 60 frames per second recording on that guy. What's this? Oh, 119 if you don't buy the package. I see. I see. Well, Future Shop was kind of meh. Let's see what's going on at the source. I like the source. What? The source? Crackberry Playbook? 500 bucks. No thanks. Uh, they got my webcam on sale again, my HD 5000. That's kind of cool. Holy crap, that's cheap. $34.99 for a 16 gig uh, memory card. I don't like the brand name, but whatevs. What class is that? It's a class uh, 4. So there you go. Sweet! 500 gigabyte, haha, <laughs> gigabyte. 500 gigabyte friggin' portable hard drive features USB 3.0. Nice! Need batteries? Friggin' 48 AA or AAA batteries for $15. That's friggin' awesome! Well, that's pretty much it for the source. They didn't really have much either, so. Let's move on to Canadian Tire, because I love looking at Canadian Tire. They have stuff. Dum dum dum. Da -da -dum. I wonder if this guy's self-propelled. Doesn't really say anywhere. That's a nice friggin' mower. That's what I wanted to self-propel for the backyard. But I like that. Hundred bucks off. Yeah. 
Oh, shitty monitor for dirt cheap. 80 bucks gets you 18.5 inches. Nice. Geez, TVs have dropped in price. When I bought this 32 inch here, I paid $1,500. Now, 32 inch, $350 on sale for $300. Son of a bitch. I really need to buy a new point and shoot. That's a nice camera. I like Kodak's, but uh, there's another camera that I really want instead, the Casio Exome, but this is nice. Sweet. 15 watt solar panel, yeah. Now on for $89, regular $139. Score! A little bit of air conditioning for you. I don't even use mine anymore. <laughs> oh well, not a bad price. 99 bucks for 5,000 BTU. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy some of that crap this year. Weed be gone. I wonder if that's the stuff you spray all over the lawn or if it's just a spot control. Checking. Oh nice. It's not a spot control. You can spray it all over the lawn. Excellent. Nice. I should buy that. The stuff big red. The snowblower and the lawnmower in. 6x6 portable storage solution. Friggin rights. $129. Yeah. I like that. Then I could have big red in there. My lawnmower. My snowblower. And less shit in the garage. That'd be awesome. Screw that self-propelled bullshit. I need me one of these. That's beautiful. <laughs> Just a little guy. I like that. I need that. Well, those would be perfect for the live show, eh? Some halogen spotlights. They're on sale, too. It's 18 bucks, 20 For that double setup, that guy right there, she's $24. So that's not bad. That'd give us a lot of light in the garage. 10 liter portable shitter. 100 bucks. Now you can shit anywhere. Nice. That's kind of cool. It's um, 175 watt 3 in 1 mobile power outlet and this sits in your cup holder. That is friggin sweet. Has two ACs and two USBs and two 12 volts. Friggin awesome. Well that's pretty much it for the flyers that I like looking at. So a lot of cool deals. I'll throw this up and you guys can tell me what you think. And uh, I'm going to switch back to the Flip Ultra and can carry on with the vlog. Hope you enjoyed Flyer Day. I like Flyer Day because then I get to see all the stuff that I can't afford to buy. Nice. All right. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty. I just got done editing all the footage I took this morning, which wasn't much. But um, we're sitting at 7 minutes and 17 seconds of all the stuff. Uh, basically, I did the flyers. So you get to see the flyers. Everything's all edited up. So I'll be able to hopefully get home tonight and send it up quicker than I did last night, which kind of made it really slow and oh what's this girlfriend just sent me a link to the playful which is kodak's new pocket cam um i don't know if you guys have seen this thing but uh okay a friggin' advert basically it's supposed to be the new successor to the zi8 it's called the playful ze1 and this camera here there's a front view a little bit to the side the other side arse end that's kind of cool, eh? It's got a share button on it. Um, yeah. It's got a USB thingy that comes out the top. And you can get it in Chrome. Kind of pretty looking. Regular price? Um, about 145 bucks. So what can this piece of crap do? So it's got a 1 in, a one in 3, 2 type 5 megapixel CMOS. Same as the uh, ZX5. 3.9 millimeter uh, lens. 4 times digital zoom. Digital image stabilization. Uh, it's got a one five inch uh, whatever friggin brightness screen so it's got a yeah thin film transistor screen 128 megs of internal storage but 32 gigs expandable oh nice it uses MPEG-4 instead of that old friggin motion JPEG crap right on so you can get 10 hours of HD video with the expandable SD uh, up to 32 gigs so about uh, 20 minutes per one gig so that's not bad It'll do 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second, 720p at 30 or 60, and uh, WVGA uh, 848 by 480 at 30 frames. So that's all right. And you can take 16 by 9, 5.3 megapixel pictures. Go! So it's got a microphone. Doesn't have a microphone port. Why won't they do that? That kind of really pisses me off that the only Kodak camera they ever put out with a microphone port is the ZI8. Son of a bitch oh well but um yeah if only i could find video of this i want to see how well it does but there's nothing it looks pretty but i'm not in the market for another pocket cam i already have two million of them have to check youtube and see how well this guy performs i also would like to see uh somebody holding it in their hand because it looks really really friggin small anywho talk to you guys later check out the playful bye yeah. all righty well it's three o'clock so I gotta make some food, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat some food, 
and make a lunch to bring to work and then I guess head her out and go to work. So, talk to you guys in a bit. Lunch is made, num nums is done. I gotta go upstairs and watch some YouTube. I gotta catch up on my subs. So talk to you guys later. Alrighty, well, I'm on my way to work. All right, buddy. Talk to you later. Bye, asshole. Such a dick to me, eh? See the attitude I get from this guy? What's the matter with you? Uh, I'm depressed. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, don't worry, Felix, because Mommy's coming home soon, and she has some food for you. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. All right, well, I'm going to work, so the uh, house belongs to you now. So uh, protect things and try and stay off the furniture. Just go already. All right, buddy. Oh. Talk to you later, freaking attitude giving bastard. Huh, I'll let him sleep and I gotta take a piss and then get her to get her into work, so talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, well I'm on my way to work, but my friggin' windshield is dirty, so I bought uh, this goofy contraption here last year, and basically it's just easier to do the window because this thing swivels, so you just get her on the window and give her, right? So I'm gonna Windex my windows, then head her into work. Talk to you guys later. Sweet! My window's clean. My window should be clean. <laughs> Off to work I go, buddy. Traffic is ultra shitty today. Holy crap. Look at all the friggin' cars. Everywhere. Ugh. Should have left earlier. Son of a bitch. Alrighty, I'm at work now and I have enough time to have a smoke. So I'm having a smoke. Awesome. It's uh, actually not raining today, which is nice. Cloudy as hell though, but at least it's not raining. It's not even windy, so that's kind of cool. It's still pretty chilly out, but tomorrow is supposed to be a lot nicer out, so that should be nice. Huh, I wonder what they're doing over there. Look at that. Look at that over there. Friggin' full-size van. There's a bunch of white smoke pissing out the arse end of it. Probably cleaning the floor mats or something. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna smoke this, go inside and see what the what is, and then uh, power through through eight hours of shift and then head her home. So, talk to you guys later. Ugh, it smells like someone shit themselves in here. Oh yeah. What? What the fuck is that thing? It's the sun. Haven't seen it. that in like about oh, five days. Well, shit. Oh well, it's break time, which means it's smoke time. Friggin' hell. This really sucked today, you know. I know it's Friday, people want to get on with the weekend. But really, I came into work with a whole bunch of tasks to do because the day staff didn't do shit. So, tickets were put on hold that should have been dealt with today. Stuff that should have been done earlier today that came off hold was just ignored. They're probably going to say it was because they're short staffed, but you know what? They're running the same amount of staff that we're running right now. Oh, I'm just venting to you guys. I shouldn't do that but freaking pisses me right off. So, uh, news on the flips, uh, they're not in yet, so I don't have my other flips yet, so that sucks. Apparently, uh, all the quote-unquote broken ones that, uh, Daddy Tech bought, they weren't broken. The previous owner was just an idiot. <laughs> he said his all worked fine. He goes, he just had to order a battery pack for one that his wife's using, and, uh, the other one's working like a charm. So, that's pretty sweet. People just give up on them too easily, I guess. I don't know, and then they just put them up on the market to get rid of them, especially after hearing that Cisco's gone. Well, it's not Cisco. I shouldn't say that. Cisco dropped the line, the camera line, and is now focusing more on network architecture. So, because of that, the Cisco cameras are dropping big time. Like I showed you in the flyer today, Flip Ultra HD 8 gig with a tripod and a spare battery for like 149 bucks. That's a friggin' wicked deal. Normally, the camera alone is 218. I don't know. I kind of like filming with this camera, even though it's really underpowered for the price. Well, I didn't pay shit for it, but normally for the price, because at the time this camera was $158, and for $158, you can get one of those Kodaks, like I showed you earlier, which has to Ability control you could add expanded memory to it to get more time you can pop the battery out and put another battery in it which I can do with this one but a lot of the flips you can't like the flip my nose you can't you have to uh, find a USB port and jack it in and charge it back up so for the price of these guys you're better off to buy another pocket cam but now that they're coming down in price huh, they're uh, a little bit more worthwhile I like filming with this thing it's easy you press the button start talking to it press the button walk away you know but uh, I know blokes really enjoying his and his wife uses it when they're at the farm and they shoot video then uh, he puts up his video and then he puts her video up and he has a good old time doing it he likes to flip it's easy to use perfect for him perfect for beginner vloggers it's not hard to tell where the, the iris is aimed either even though it doesn't have a mirror on the front but all in all it's i think it's just a perfect camera for what, what i do and yeah anywho now i'm just rambling so i'm gonna shut her down head her back inside and i'll talk to you guys on lunch if something cool happens bye well, it's lunchtime, so I just came down to the beer store. Got myself an eight-pack of cans for tonight. So I'm gonna have a couple beers while I'm editing the vlog. And now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and, I don't know, get some snacks. So, talk to you guys in a bit. Well, it's 10.30 at night. Oh, for my last break. Oh, I've been watching uh, a, a copy of that uh, Fast 
5. See, I was going to go to the theater to watch it, that Fast and the Furious 5, but I was really upset with the last one. I thought it was a huge piece of shit, and I didn't like the fact that I wasted so much money on it. And the one before that, the uh, drifting one, Tokyo Drift, it pissed me right off because it was stupid. And the second one was, nah, it was okay when you watch the DVD version because it actually explained why he's in Miami doing what he's doing. Only if you watch the prequel, which was on the DVD only, they never showed that in the theater. And well, the first one, I was completely lost when I watched the first one. I didn't, I didn't really know much, much about cars back then. You know, how suspension works and for that matter, how a combustion engine works or what a manifold was. When he does the initial drag race in that eclipse and all of a sudden his little computer reports danger to manifold and for some screwed up reason, the floor plate falls out of his car. Well, I, I didn't quite get that. I, last time I, I checked, even back then, I was like, that's when I started researching, like, danger to manifold, so why did his floor fall out, uh, fall out of the car, right? And that's when I realized the manifold, depending on what they're talking about, intake or exhaust, uh, has nothing to do with the floor of the car. <laughs> so I was like, wow, Hollywood's just dumb. But, uh, so far, this one here is not too bad. They got a pretty good solid storyline into it. A lot of the same old bullshit. Of course, they spiced it up by adding, like, you know, The Rock and Vin Diesel and all the other actors from all the other uh, Fast and Furious movies. Try and bring them all together as one big one big group. So, yeah, I'll probably go to the theater and watch it or wait for it to come out on Blu-ray and buy it. The copy I got's real shit, though. A lot of the scenes are just, like, the background because I guess the guy who ran the cam didn't look at it to see what it was aimed at. And it's kind of off to the side a bit. People are walking in front of the camera, so it's a real shitty version. Good enough just to get an idea as to what I'm getting into. Because I don't know about you guys, but have you been to the movies lately? Lately, they've just been putting out junk. Like, you pay $10, go sit in some uncomfortable chair at a theater. Maybe your theater has comfier seating, but ours sure doesn't. You know, so you're sitting in this uncomfy chair, and then they start off the movie. Oh, and you're like, all right, movie time. Get some previews. No, you gotta sit through a half an hour of friggin' Toyota and Pepsi commercials, and then they play maybe 20, 30 minutes of previews, and then finally your movie. It's like, holy crap, you know what? Previews are cool, I like those, because they let me know, uh, you know, what to look forward to in case something cool might be coming out, but the commercials? I'm sorry, I already paid, so I, I shouldn't have to pay to watch a Pepsi commercial, or a Fruitopia commercial, or a Toyota Matrix commercial, or a friggin' cell phone commercial, or, oh, it drives me nuts. So I think that's why companies like Netflix and all that are coming out, and, you know, people putting movies up on the internets to download and shit it's because they're fed up hollywood's not even trying anymore to make good quality movies so why should we pay to see their crap that they're putting out maybe if they tried harder they'd make more sales in the box office i'm just saying well, anywho break time's almost over i'm gonna head her back inside finish this shift off head her home because i'm really dying for a beer talk to you guys later and let me know what you think of theaters <laughs> balls 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 work shift's over time to go home Bye. Yeah, it says 11.59 out here. Oh, never mind. Now it says 12. But, um, I really gotta do an oil change on the f***ing car. Shit. Anyway, so I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Bye. Alright, well, I'm home now, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. And probably crash out soon. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, if you like today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. Because, you know, I like it when you hit the like button. Let me know you like the video, and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw in this video today, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be sure to answer. And, uh, next time, guys, keep on vlogging.